Jumbo and welcome to Epic Storyteller. Today you are with me for a wildlife expedition. We are now at Kutani Lodge at Bhoi for the freshen up and for the breakfast. This lodge is very close to Mombasa Nairobi Highway and uh, does not need a park ticket to view or explore the wildlife. I can say uh, it's an ideal place for a quick game drive as well as good layover while travel to Mombasa to Nairobi and vice versa. The lodge is situated at the famous Gotuni Sanctuary, which is a 10,000 acre private game sanctuary. It is only in Gotuni Sanctuary in the whole of Sabu East National Park where one can do a night game drive conveniently and spot a lot of animals, including many big cats, at very close range. The African elephant is not only the biggest of the big five, but it is also the biggest land animal on the planet. In fact, the elephant is the largest living and mammal in the world. They have distinctly massive bodies, large ears and long trunks. Sabu red elephants, actually, they are really the same color as every other elephant in the world. But they just appear red due to constantly dust bathing with fine red volcanic soil. so heavy it's a lake of elephant so many bones here you can see these are the real elephant bones I think one elephant died here and then it turns into a skeleton the elephant may die naturally at old age or maybe the disease caused. Sabu East is a reserved forest and I believe poaching is not the cause of the elephant death. That little fur let me show you the skull. This is the skull of elephant. So you don't need to go to Chicago Film Museum. You can see the elephant skull here in Sabu. The portions of the skull are damaged but you can have an idea how does an elephant skull look like. So it's a natural felt museum of Kenya you can say. This place is magnificent. Many things yet to see and explore here. If you get any chance don't miss to visit this incredible national park which is the biggest in Kenya and one of the largest in the world. Look at the bone. 
goals. You are going over. <laughs> Here is the bone. From far, uh, those parts look like flamingo, but uh, it's not. According to African legend, God wanted to make creatures of Africa, but run out of animal parts. So God decided to use all the leftover bird parts to create the unsightly looking marabou stock. Yeah, these birds are called marabou stock. little water in the hole so they came to drink the water I'm going close to them don't be afraid see <laughs> how they are flying ah not even water some people throw the water bottle and they are trying to drink some water Come and quiet. We are finding waters, but unfortunately, it's very dry in the area. After filming, I would like to give them some water to drink. The Marabu stroke are garbage collectors. In such, we found them near to a waterhole filled up garbage. They're probably finding foods as marabou stocks find food from garbage and they eat everything including other birds. So they play a significant role in African ecosystem. I am standing next to them and uh, they welcome me. number of tourists visiting every day Sabuist National Park. They captured the wild animals in their cameras. As a result, many animals including the big cats are very much habituated and comfortable in front of the cameras. This monkey is also indifferent and he is one of the smartest ever we have found. When he saw us shooting, he starts posing in front of our cameras. The kind of attitude and smartness he has shown while posing, I'm really impressed and I will not surprise if near future wild animals like him will be coming as YouTuber. Look at him, isn't he camera friendly? <laughs> yes, he is. You can see a giraffe who is alone and looking at me. Maybe he's trying to configure what I am doing here in their territory. He started walking now. Let me zoom him to have a closer look. Wow, he is not alone. I can see two more. They all are busy eating. Also, many birds are flying around them. 
I wish I could have a little more closer to them while shooting, which I can't as I have already taken a big risk by out of the car. Usually, the lions hide in the bush and wait for the right time to ambush. You can't see or find a lion hiding in the bush as they have the same color as the bushes. So, one must be careful while walking in the bush. Expedition in the Kuchuni Sanctuary ends here. We are heading to Lagard Falls. It's a 80 km drive from Kuchuni Sanctuary and going to take 1 hour 30 minutes. We are driving through the pipeline which is one of the busiest wild traffic zone in the entire park as you can see. In our previous expedition of this road was great and awesome. I was very much lucky to capture many wild animals including the magnetic lions, the silent killer cheetahs and the African mafia cave buffaloes. You can find them in my haunted African jungle series part 2 and part 3. Are you ready for the shot? Yeah. Look at the sky, the auroras and the hearts of elephant in the bush. All together made a magnificent look of the entire place. What a breathtaking feeling of wildness expedition ever I had. Lookout Falls is a secret pool in the forest. Most magnificent are Lookout Falls, a wonderful landscape of water sculpted canals and straighted rocks and Irsen Crocodile Point. The falls named after Sir Frederick Lugard, who passes this place on his way to Uganda. Sir Frederick Lugard was a British soldier, explorer of Africa and colonial administrator. Lugard Falls formed where the Galana River passes through volcanic rock, curving a path narrower than its own width and creating a series of rapids and falls as the water flows faster. You need to be very careful when you get down from the car, wild animals are around or hidden in rocky caves. In water you may find crocodile. As the falls deep inside the jungle and nearby no ranger or no human signs available. Of course extra precautions required.
today um, we are into wilderness expedition at uh, Sabu East National Park. We have been keep on visiting this place and uh, every time we have used the same way while back to Mombasa. But uh, this time we choose a new route going to Mombasa to Malindi which is long route. Uh, almost uh, 150 km distance we'll have to drive more. We have no idea about the road, neither the landscape on the way to Sala Gate. Uh, we are very much excited to discover the new way and hoping to find wild animals on our way to Sala Gate. Past uh, Sala Gate, we have a plan to meet the ancient killers, uh, yes, the Nile crocodile at uh, Galana River which is the second largest river in Kenya. Also, we will drive through an abandoned haunted resort just at the bank of the Galana River. We stopped our car as we found two elephants are taking rest under a tree. Hello, and Jumbo, everyone. See those two elephants. Elephants are always with groups consist of 800 individuals. This is the first time we found a group of two elephants. Probably they are a couple, but I am not sure. We already drove 70 km from the Logard Falls towards the Salana Gate. The landscape of this part of Sabu East is different than the other side of Poi. It's more dry and dusty and water availability is almost zero. That's maybe the reason we have seen a very few wild animals on our way to Salana Gate. Look at the herd of zebras. They are in search of food. Unfortunately, the place is so much dehydrated. It's really hard to survive here in this part of the jungle without water. The sky looks cloudy and it's a very good sign for the rain. Hope soon will be raining. And we'll have enough green grasses and water for the wild animals to survive.
our next spot Golana river once upon a day i mean before pandemic this place was crowded with tourists now it looks like ruins hope soon the place get back its life Galana River and this is the place for crocodiles there are many crocodiles here but you need to look for it we are walking and searching is yes. a bit dangerous walk and search crocodile the Galana River which combines the water of Sabu and Athi River cuts a green gash across the dusty plains where you may see abundant crocs and hippos. The area north of the Galana River is dominated by the Yatha Escarpment, a vast prehistoric lava flow which is estimated by some to be the longest lava flow in the world at about 300 km. It's only accessible at present for those with a special permit. So we couldn't go there. So we came here to find the crocodile uh, accompanied by with a local guide who assisted us how to call a crocodile from water. So let's listen him. And uh, we can see crocodile understand him and shown him up slowly. This is the way that you should call the crocodile. Ah, this dog. Ah, he is under the mud. Yeah. Yeah, uh, a little head up. It's so hot. So they are deep into the water. <laughs> how you how you are calling me? There is another one. How's the noise you are making that they're coming? <laughs> <laughs> the Nile crocodile is occasionally called an African crocodile or common crocodile since it's everywhere in Africa. Nilotikos means from the Nile River. Nile crocodiles have greenish yellow scales with brown or bronze highlights. Their exact coloring will vary depending on their environment. Another that is there. also another one another, there. Another one there, in the middle of the water. Yeah. Oh, coming, eh? Yeah, coming. Oh, yes, it's coming slowly there. <laughs> He's swimming. He's swimming so, so cool. Ah, it's gone again inside. It's completely gone now. The Nile River is a freshwater river with its headwaters in Lake Victoria. And that's exactly why Nile crocodile love it so much. They are freshwater animals. However, Nile crocodile can live in salt water. Coming 
Nile crocodiles are extremely dangerous. They are large, fearless animals with very strong bites. Nile crocodiles are known as man-eaters. Nile crocodiles is that they can move quickly over dry land. They have a high walk where they raise their bodies off the ground to gain speed. What do you need to bring? Chicken or yeah. Meat, they eat meat. Oh, if you carry the meat, then they come small, right? Give him something and come out. Uh. Now he's feeling back. Mm. He understands that we have not bring anything. <laughs> they aren't afraid of 300 pound baby elephants and they aren't afraid of villagers washing their clothes in the river bank. It's estimated that Nile crocodiles kill between 200 to 300 people per year. The largest Nile crocodile was a man eater named Gotha. Killed more than 300 people. He was never captured, so no one knows his exact measurement, but witness claims that he was 25 feet long and 2,200 pounds weight. Gotha was the inspiration behind a horror movie called in one of the most remote locations on earth lives the world's most prolific serial killer. He has claimed over 300 victims. He is elusive, intelligent, cunning. He is real, but he is not human. Our journey ends here, Sabuyast. We came out from Salana Gate and uh, will be heading towards to the newly construction highway. Both sides jungle and uh, the signs of the wild animals exist even few hundred miles from Salana Gate. Sabu is a jungle of wild animals, tons of story hiding its own mystery. Maybe I am unable to capture it from my few times travel. But stay tuned for our next episode with true haunted horrific story of Sabu West. No doubt ghosts exist in Sabu West. This land is your land and this land is my land from the redwood forest. To the Gulf Stream waters This land was made for you and me